All right, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson, and yes, we are now less than a week left in the 2024 hurricane season. Now, of course, we could still have hurricane tropical cyclone activity past November the 30th, but officially that's when the season ends and we all just kind of like to reach that mark and kind of breathe a little easier here uh, in the Atlantic Basin because that's what we need to do on a season like this that's been very busy. So as expected, though, we've talked about this the last several days. We're not looking for any sort of formation to be taking place the last now less than a week of the season, uh, but we'll continue to keep you updated. We'll continue to keep checking in with you. We're here every day of hurricane season giving you some information that's tropical related. And so today I just kind of want to look back a little bit at the forecasts and how that compares to what actually took place. So these are the prime, the two main forecasts that we see uh, that are most re reputable forecasts that we see. And these are the August updates. So the numbers that were put back in June and May, they're actually were a little bit higher than this because August was a very quiet time period. But overall, Colorado State University, Dr. Philip Klotzbach, again, really well respected and well known in the seasonal outlooks and a lot of other things as well. But this is what their program put out. And then, of course, NOAA, that's our main government entity that takes care of our weather forecasting for the United States and even more than just the United States. Um, this is what their forecasts were. So again, very similar. And we've talked about this before, the transition into La Nina, as well as those very warm ocean waters and, and bay and uh, Gulf waters and sea waters. Those were all sort of the main reasons why these numbers are higher than an average season. So anytime NOAA talks about an average, it's always the past 30 years. So this is the time frame that these numbers are averaging. And so typically we've been seeing 14 named storms, seven of those hurricanes, three of those major hurricane. So these averages are the forecasts again, much higher than the averages. And what we actually came up with again, current count so far, the year is not over yet. Anything that happens past November 30th up until the end of December is still counted on this year. We've had 18 total storms, 11 of those hurricanes and five major hurricanes. And if you're a regular viewer here uh, with us, I've talked several times about the fact that this number of hurricanes is certainly where the, the abnormality is more than anything with having 11 of them. And of course, the U.S. landfalls of hurricanes, that's another uh, part that we've seen that's unusual uh, that we'll remember at least for 2024. Looking at those names, you'll probably recognize some of these and remember again, some of them having much more impacts than others. For those of us here in Southeast Texas, that second name storm barrel, which was a category five hurricane as it rolled through the Caribbean. And we really thought this entire season was going to be crazy busy. Didn't it definitely did get quiet, but barrels the one we remember the uh, more uh, the most, of course, uh, Helene certainly made its impacts on more than just coastal areas. And then Milton was that late season hurricane as well that he really hit Florida very hard. And even Raphael and Sarah uh, again got everybody's attention with it being such a late season storm and some of those forecasts looking very threatening, although they didn't really turn out quite as much. So let me get out of the way here so we can see where we are on our climatology. Uh, normally again, September the 10th is that peak of the season. Things begin to peak uh, or to go down as far as the number of activity. And here we are almost at the end of hurricane season. So it's not impossible to have something outside of these six months, but we label these six months of the year as hurricane season because it's the most historically active time. There's been discussion in recent years to perhaps even include May into that, expand the official season because it's been quite regular that we would see a named storm in May. But so far, this is still what we're dealing with June through December, uh, through July as those six months of the year. As I mentioned, we're continuing to keep you updated on things happening in the tropics or things to talk about over the 2024 season. You're on fox26houston.com. Uh, you're on Fox Local, another great way to find us. And of course, I know the majority of our audience is on YouTube. 
I'm thankful that you're here checking in from across the world. We've got a lot of folks in the Caribbean and across other portions of the US, not just here in Texas. And we're thankful for that you're here. You've been all season and we'll continue to keep you updated. And we'll expect to see you again here later in the week.